Hello, welcome to another one of my videos. I'm going to be showing you how you can save any file inside of an image file. And uh, this can be very useful if you want to hide perhaps a document that contains very sensitive information such as passwords and stuff like that. All right, now first of all you want to download a program called HIP, uh, which is short for Hide in Picture. And I've actually put a download link for it in the description. And uh, also if you're not already watching this in HD, please watch it in HD which might not be able to work out what it is I'm doing exactly. Right, okay, um, so now I've got hip open, and I'm gonna click on the picture of a folder, because uh, that's sort of like the only picture there is really, and it's asking me for a bitmap file. Uh, you can also do GIF files, but I'm gonna use bitmap file for this. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't support JPEG files. Uh, but they may fix this in a future version, I'm not sure. Alright, so now I've just opened up a random bitmap file, and as you may be able to see, it looks a bit distorted, but we don't want to worry about that. Um, right, so now I'm going to click on Image, and then Hide File, and then it will open up a box allowing me to choose a file which I would like to hide. And so if I just find one, I'll just choose this one. Um, yeah, now it's asking me to give it a password. Um, so for this video, I'm just going to give it the password of password. And then I need to confirm it. And uh, then, yeah, you can choose the encryption type uh, between those two. And then I'm going to click on OK. And now it's hiding the file inside of the image file. And... Alright, then now I'll click on close and it'll ask me if I want to save. I'm going to click yes. Now I'm going to go to the image file that I saved the file I wanted to hide inside of. So I'm going to go to the image file and uh, this is it. And as you can see, it's got the standard icon and everything. Now when I double click on it, it just looks like a regular image. Um, and I can scroll through them if I had other images in this folder, just like a regular image. And to the average person, they would not be able to tell the difference between one that has got a file hidden in it and one that hasn't. Right, um, so now if you want to retrieve a file, I'm going to click on the folder again, and I'm going to choose the image which I know has a file hidden inside of it. And right, so now it's opened up this, and now I'm going to click on image and then retrieve file. Now it's asking me for the password, uh, which as I put in earlier is password. Go OK, and that's asking me where I want to save the file, and um, and that's retrieving the file from the image, and uh, yeah, as you can see, that's that's how you hide the file inside of an image, and uh, this can be very useful for if, for example, you've got things such as password lists, uh, you can hide them inside an image file, and then perhaps put the image onto a USB stick. So if, for example, for whatever reason, you've got to reformat your computer you can get the password file out of there uh, and also if for whatever reason you lose your USB stick with the image file on it it doesn't really matter too much because it's highly unlikely a person's going to try and open it with HIP and then be able to crack the password uh, so yeah that is how you hide a file inside an image and uh, thanks for watching